Hey brothers and sisters, I hope you are having an amazing day today. I want to greet you in the name of God, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Don't forget to, forget to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications for future videos, and also don't forget to leave a comment. So today I want to make this video to talk about the mind. And the reason and the purpose I make this video is because recently I've been going through a lot of spiritual warfare. The enemy has been has been attacking me. And like first of all, like my usually praying, I was suddenly fall asleep. And also I've been getting a lot of intrusive thoughts and I had a lot of sexual dreams. So yeah, but mainly this is gonna be about the mind and the truth truth of thoughts. And there is times that I'm I believe the lie, I managed to get the best of me. And before I go into the topic, I'm gonna read read from Second Corinthians chapter ten verse five, and it says, "Cast out any evil imagination that is still up against the knowledge knowledge of God, and bring every doubt and captivity to Christ." And it says in Proverbs chapter four verse twenty three, "We should guard our heart with all diligence, for out of it comes the issues of life." So I decided to move to the back because. My birds are a bit no noisy, but anyway, back to the video. Brothers and sisters, so like I said, recently I've been having a lot of truth of thoughts and the enemy, enemy has been uh, attacking me. He's been remi reminding me of my past. He's been, he's been remi reminding me of my parents and my grandparents' divorces and all the fair relationships that, that my grandfather and my mother mother had like to go get me to go back to my old way of living to go back to being bitter resentful and hate hateful toward towards marriage towards dating towards any anything in general and this put and basically put myself back on the pedestal and and there's times like i i let my thoughts get the best of me and I and sometimes I believed in lies and me, and yeah, I'm guilty of that. And there's times that it it makes me go this way and that way. <laughs> but but there's times that I'm like stop. I rebuke I rebuke you, be the devil in the name of Jesus. And there's times that I get I get sinful thoughts mainly because of my flesh. Because again, we all have a follow follow human nature. But I used to I used to word of God, God to combat against against those thoughts. And recently, that's been happening. And today, I worship the Most High. And that that lifted up the burden. And that got my my focus back on the Most High. Also, I've been recently I suddenly. I will suddenly fall asleep during my prayers and why worship is stopped. And about worship, worshiping the most high, you know, like singing to him, praising him, thanking him. I think this is something that most believers would like neglect and think it's just a church thing, but it's like it it's like a every it's an everyday thing. And it's just like praying, reading your Bible and fasting. And uh, I think we as believers should get into the habit of worshiping, worshiping God during our off time. Because I promise promise y'all this is another way to grow closer to the Most High, to build a relationship with Him. And I promise y'all it, bring, it brings blessings. But anyway, back to the video. So yeah, that happened. And why am I saying this? Well, the thing is... I'm saying, saying this more, y'all, that be aware of what goes through your thought life. And imagine your thought life like a, like a stream, you know, like, like, like a river. And the, and the thing is, the, the enemy, the, the deem, demons, the beavers, are like trying to build a dam. And just like, and just and as the beavers are trying to build, like, build a dam, build, you know, build a little wood, wooden ding. With a dane to block to block the water from 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 flowing, and so is the enemy trying to build dams within within our thought life. 
and that's what creates the malik the great mental strongholds and and then we end up getting negative dots and intrusive dots flow, flowing in, in that in that stop river river flow yes yes great thank you great and anal an analogy but the thing is the only way we can remove that break down those strongholds and break down break down the dams the enemy tries to try to place in our minds and what and we ourselves sometimes try to place in our minds is by using the word of god and when jesus was in the wood was like in the being tempted in the wilderness by the enemy three three times the enemy tempted him and three times jesus used scripture to combat combat the enemy and guess what after three times the, the enemy fled from him because he couldn't he couldn't really convince him convince him because he relied he relied on the word of god because while jesus was god he was also human with all due respect, and just and just like us believe, believers, while we should worship, we need to we do need to be the in the be in the Word of God. So because it said because it says in Romans chapter twelve, verses one and two, be not conformed to the world, to the world, but be ye renewed by the be be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Oh my God, that right, <laughs> but. We need to we need to be 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 on in the word of God, so we can meditate on the scriptures, and when we and when we meditate on on the word of God on the scriptures, when it, let's say when a when an enemy tries to plant some plants a bad thought in in our mind, or our flesh is waging war against our spirit, we can use use word of, word of God to rebuke it to combat those negative thoughts that comes our way, and. One of the things the enemy loves to do is wage war in within our minds because that's where spiritual warfare takes place in our minds. And one the the only way we we can live that victorious life lifestyle that, that Jesus has called us to live is by winning the war in our mind because whether we want to admit this or not, our mind plays a key a key role in in on our in our on our walk of Christ. It plays a key role how we, how we carry ourselves, how we perceive ourselves, how others see see us. Yeah, it plays a role, and there there are gonna be challenges challenges on, on your walk with Christ. When you're gonna you're gonna struggle with doubt, you're gonna struggle with certain things. But the thing is, you don't let it get the best of you, and you pl you place you stand firm in your faith in, in Christ, and also you use the Word of God to combat combat the enemies enemies evil thoughts and the evil thoughts from our from our flesh and it says in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 for it rests not against flesh and blood but against spiritual wickedness in the high places anyway I think that's about it it's it's very important that we as believers be in the word of God and that we have a closer walk walk with God and and the more the more we're closer to God, the more we're focused on Him, and the less we're less focused we're on we're on the things of this world. It says in James chapter four verse seven, is that submit yourself therefore therefore to God and resist the devil and he'll flee for you. And one of the ways we can resist the devil that the attacks from the enemy when he wishes war against our mind is by using the using the word of God, which is which is part of the armor of God. Anyway, that's all I got. Don't be delicious. Follow Christ.